Hi, my name is Tony Miano. I am a retired 20-year veteran of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, here with my daughters Amanda and Michelle. And we are here to do the ice bucket challenge, but maybe in a slightly different way. By now, uh, you've likely seen hundreds of videos of people dumping ice water on their heads. And, uh, and again, I'm going to do the same thing here in just a moment. And the ice bucket challenge, as it's come to be known, is an effort to raise financial support for research to find a cure for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, better known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Now, while no one in our immediate family has been stricken with the disease, we lost a very dear friend by the name of Andy Vaughn to the disease in 2003. Uh, he was a brother in Christ. He was my brother behind the badge and the godfather of my youngest daughter, Amanda. So yes, this is very personal uh, for our family, but more important to me than finding a cure for the disease that ravaged my friend's body before it took his life is my love for and my faith in Jesus Christ, and that is a love and a faith that Andy Vaughn shared. And this is why I cannot in good conscience contribute money to ALS research through ALSA. You see, ALSA, with all of the wonderful work it has done by way of research and support of ALS patients and their families, ALSA also donates money to research groups that utilize stem cells from aborted children in their research. So as a Christian, I cannot in good conscience give money to any research that uses tissue from murdered children. To do so would be to add legitimacy or even encourage the continued slaughter of unborn children. Therefore, our donation as a family will go to specific ALS research being conducted at the Mayo Clinic. Dr. Tony Windebank of the Mayo Clinic is leading a dose ex escalation safety trial for intrathecal auto autologous uh, mesenchymal stem cell therapy. That's a big word. That was a mouthful. Well, the stem cells used in this research are harvested from living adults. No embryonic stem cells are used in this research. So I'm not going to share with you how much I'm going to donate, and I'm not giving you a way out of making a donation by setting a time limit or suggesting you dump cold water on your head instead of making a donation. I'm going to have my daughters dump ice water on my head simply to get you to watch this video. Now for more information about Dr. Windebank's clinical trials and how you can make a donation, see the description in uh, the description section in this video. So again, we are going to make a donation to ALS Research. We're going to do that to a clinical trial through the Mayo Clinic that is not using the stem cells of aborted, of murdered, unborn children. Uh, the stem cells that are being used, again, are the stem cells of living adults. So this is our way to be able to participate in fundraising uh, for research into the cure of a disease that killed a dear friend of ours while not compromising our Christian faith and while not uh, contributing to the murder of further unborn children. Now, I am going to make a challenge, uh, and this challenge is in the name of our dear friend Andy Vaughn, and that challenge is to the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station, one and all, as well as the West Hollywood Sheriff's Station, two patrol stations where Andy worked and where Andy was beloved by many. I'm challenging my brothers behind the badge at those two stations to participate in this ice bucket challenge. Uh, but whether you dump cold water on your heads or not, my encouragement to you is to make a donation in memory of Deputy Andy Vaughn to the uh, clinical research trial uh, that I've described here and the information for which is provided in the uh, description section of this video. Uh, there'll be a little more to come after my daughters dump this water over my head if I survive. One, two, three.
<laughs> wow, that was that was a lot colder than it looks in videos. Uh, now I'm gonna give you a moment to stop laughing and give my heart a moment to drop be below 280 beats per minute. Because there's one more thing I want to share with you. One thing that I haven't seen in these water bucket challenge videos. As I mentioned, my, my beloved brother behind the badge, Deputy Andy Vaughn, was a follower of Jesus Christ. And while he is not watching us dump water over our heads, while he is not concerned at this moment how much money is raised for ALS research, uh, I believe with all of my heart that if Andy was with us today and could say anything to you at this moment, it would be, don't miss heaven. You see, Andy is in heaven today, and it's not because he was a deputy sheriff, it's not because he was a good guy, uh, it's not because he was a beloved friend and husband and father, and it wasn't because he went to church on Sunday. Andy's in heaven today because he put his faith and his trust in Jesus Christ alone for his salvation. And if Andy could say anything to you this day, it would be, don't miss heaven. See, millions of people, uh, those who suffer from ALS and those who never will, will miss heaven. Uh, they may go to church on Sunday, they may consider themselves to be very religious, they may serve in noble professions, like law enforcement or fire or military or some other aspect of the first responder community, but they will miss heaven. You see, our good deeds will not get us into heaven. Our religion will not get us into heaven. God has a perfect standard for entrance into heaven. Jesus said, you are to be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Now, my daughters and I aren't perfect. Andy certainly wasn't perfect and I think if you were honest with yourself you would also admit that you are not perfect yet that is God's standard so that leaves us with a dilemma that leaves us with an eternal problem we're all going to die one day it's we're all part of the ultimate statistic 10 out of 10 people die it's not a scare tactic it's simply a reality of the world that we live in and when we die we are going to stand before God to give an account for our life. He is not going to look at our religious practice. He is not going to look at the job we chose. He's not going to look at the good deeds that we have accomplished in this life. He's going to judge us according to the perfect moral standard of his law. He's not going to judge us based on how we appear in the mirror to ourselves, and he's not going to judge us based on how we compare ourselves to other people. He's going to judge us according to his law. It's a law that it is written on each and every one of our hearts. You see, my friends, you and I have been created in the image of God. We are literally image bearers of God. And as such, we know that it is wrong to lie because we know that God is truth and we were created in his image. We know it's wrong to harbor bitterness or resentment or hatred in our heart, which God equates with murder because we have been created in the image of God and we know that God is love. Uh, we know it's wrong to take the name of the Lord our God, our Creator, in vain, because we know that we have been created in the image of God and that God is holy. We know it's wrong to engage in any form of sexual immorality, whether heterosexual or homosexual, because we have been created in the image of God and we know that God is faithful. And who among us can say that we have never sinned? All of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And because God is good, because God is holy and righteous and just, he is going to judge us according to his holy standard. And if he finds us guilty of breaking his law, and he surely will, because he is holy and righteous and just, he must punish our sin. And the punishment that God has assigned for sin because he is good is eternity in hell. Now, my daughters and I certainly don't want that for you. I can certainly attest to uh, the fact that Andy would never have wanted that for you because I know, I knew him and I knew of his faith in Christ. And this 
Same God, for there is only one who is angry with the wicked every day. This same God who will judge the world in righteousness. Uh, this same God whose wrath abides upon the ungodly. Is the same God who is loving and merciful and gracious and kind. Who one day in 2003 ended all of Andy's pain. Ended all of Andy's suffering. Ended the tears that toward the end Andy could no longer shed. Not because Andy was good but because Andy had received Jesus Christ as his Lord and his Savior. 2,000 years ago, God the Father sent his Son to earth in the person of Jesus Christ, fully God and fully man and without sin. He lived a perfect life that you and I and my daughters and Andy failed to live. And about 33 years into that earthly existence, he voluntarily went to the cross. He suffered and died a horrific bloody death he did not deserve to take upon himself the punishment you and I rightly deserve for our sins against God. And then three days later, he forever defeated sin and death when he rose from the grave. Unlike every false god created in the imaginations of men, Jesus Christ is alive today, and he will return at a time of the Father's choosing. And what God commands of you and me and all people everywhere is that we repent, that we turn from our sin and by faith and by faith alone, Receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior while God has given us time. So again, if Andy could say anything to you today, it would be don't miss heaven. If Andy could share anything with you today, it would be the gospel of Jesus Christ that I just shared with you. And so I share that with you with love for you uh, in remembrance of my dear friend Andy, Andy and most importantly, in remembrance of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. So with that, I challenge my brothers and sisters behind the badge at Santa Clarita Valley Station, as well as West Hollywood Station, uh, to make a donation uh, to uh, ALS research that does not utilize the stem cells of aborted children, and to do that in the memory of our brother behind the badge, Andy Vaughn.